let's take a look at something we had looked at before. So we saw this last time, right? Electromagnetic radiation, sinusoidal electromagnetic radiation propagating to the right. Uh, okay, so we said that that's possible because it satisfies Maxwell's equations. Now, based on what we've talked about, how do you get sinusoidally, sinusoidal electromagnetic radiation in the first place? What do you need to have happen? A vibrating charge, right? If charges are, if you have uh, electric radi or electromagnetic radiation, radiation created by sinusoidally oscillating, or if the radiation is sinusoidal, and we know the uh, radiation is caused by accelerated charges, then you must have sinusoidally oscillating charges. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, before we go too far into, into this here, we found. Let's go back to this example for just a quick, a quick second. We found that the radiation, radiative field, when it reaches this point, will be pointing that way. What's going to be the direction of the magnetic radiative field? Out, why out? The cross product gives us the direction of propagation, right? We know it's moving to the right, E, E cross B, direct, direction of E cross direction of B gives us the direction of prop propagation. And we know the, it's coming from the charge, right? So, so we know the direction of B, and how do we get the magnitude of B? If we know this is the magnitude of the radiative electric field, how do I get B radiative? What was the relationship? Over C, right? B rad is equal to E radiative uh, divided by the speed of light. Okay, so if you if you need to find the radiative component, you can do that easily because you want, once you know the direction of propagation, you know the magnitude of the electric field, you can easily figure out the direction of the the Magnetic field and its magnitude as well. Okay. Well, you've already done that, right? You've already done that. So it doesn't matter. Once you know that the electron has produced this direction of irradiative, okay, then it would. It's good. You got to. You have to have this magnetic field. If it had been a proton, okay, let's say it was a positive charge, then E rad would be down. And B rad would have to point into, right, to get you the same direction of propagation because you know it's coming from that charge. Okay. Okay. So sinusoidal radiation means you have to have sinusoidally oscillating charge, right? Because if we have a charge, let's just look at. Uh, say you have some charge that's oscillating okay, back and forth, and you know it's say it's it's oscillating up and down, so its y position is going to be some amplitude times the sine of some function omega t, right? And you could say, okay, well then the velocity of it is going to be the derivative of that. We get a derivative of the sine is cosine. Derivative of omega t is omega omega t. And then you take the derivative again to get the acceleration, right? So a sub y is going to be dy squared dt squared, or d squared y dt squared. And so you get the amplitude. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. You have an omega squared sine omega t. So the acceleration function is going to be have a sine in it. And therefore, the, uh, the radiation itself, based on the formula we just saw, is going to have a sine sinusoidal oscillation in it as well. 